Most software that you put on your computer will have to be installed in order to make it work. Before you install any software on your computer, you need to make sure that your computer meets minimum system requirements to run the program. All software that you purchase from a store will have a section on the box that says System Requirements. To check if your computer meets minimum system requirements, go down to Start and then right click on Computer. Then go down to Properties on the list. In this window, we can see the type of processor and how much RAM or memory the computer has. If it has more than the minimum amount, then you can install the software on the computer. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Security Essentials, which is an antivirus application that I'm going to get from the internet. Every application is going to have slightly different steps when going through the install process, but for the most part, it will be pretty similar. If you are installing software from a CD that you purchased from a store, the first step that you will take is to insert the CD into the disk drive on the computer. Windows has a built-in feature called Auto Run that will automatically open the disk after you insert it into the disk drive. When the Auto Run box pops up, all you have to do is click Run. To download the Microsoft Security Essentials application, you will need to go to the download location on the Microsoft.com website. Click the download button to start the download. Windows will give you a file download security warning that is asking if you want to run or save the file. When you run a file download, Windows will temporarily save it to a folder on your computer and then delete it later on. If you save the file, the install file will be saved onto your computer so that the file can be used as many times as you want. When you save a downloaded file on Windows 7, the file will be saved in the Downloads folder that is located in your user account. For this file, I'm going to select Run because I'm not going to need the download file more than once. The file will then be downloaded to a temporary folder on your hard drive. When the download is finished, you will see a prompt from the user account controls on your computer. The user account controls lets you know that a program is trying to make changes to our computer. It also tells us the program name, if the program is a verified publisher with Microsoft, and where the file is coming from. Click Yes to continue. Now the install file will run and we will be able to go through the software install. The first page gives a brief description of the program that we are installing. Click Next to continue. The next step of the install is the license agreement. Make sure you read through all of the information on the license agreement. This will have all of the information about the program, such as what information they're allowed to look at on your computer and what they're allowed to do with that information. This is a legal agreement, and when you click I accept, you are accepting all of the terms in the legal agreement. Click I accept if you agree to the terms. Now we are being asked if we want to join the customer improvement program. Most antivirus applications will have one of these. The first paragraph of text explains what it is. If you want to join it, choose Join and click Next. Next we are being asked if we have a firewall on the computer. If you don't know what a firewall is, leave this option checked because you probably don't have one installed. Click Next. The next paragraph says that we cannot have any other antivirus applications installed on our computer because it might conflict. We will discuss more about this in an upcoming video. Click Install. The software is now updating and running through some automated tasks. 
When it has finished, you are done installing the software. Now let's take a look at how to uninstall programs from the computer. To uninstall any software that is on your computer, you will need to go down to the Start menu, then go to Control Panel. When you are in the Control Panel, make sure you are in the Category view. Navigate to the Programs section and click the blue link underneath that says Uninstall a Program. Windows will now generate a list of all of the programs that are installed on your computer. In that list, navigate to the program that you want to uninstall. Then select it, and then click the Uninstall button that appears at the top. When the uninstaller that is built in the program appears, click Uninstall. The program will now uninstall all of the files that it installed on your computer. Some programs will need to restart the computer to finish the process. If it asks you to restart the computer, select Yes, then the computer will restart. Most programs will be pretty similar to uninstall it from the computer. This concludes a look at how to install and uninstall software.